So in this video, what I want to talk about is the get header function and the get footer function. And when you're developing WordPress themes, it's important to know these two because they can be really useful uh, when building out your theme. And so what I'm going to do is just demonstrate how to use uh, each of those. And they're very much the same, so they'll both be in the same video. Uh, let's go ahead and start with the header file. And to do that, I'm going to create a new file and I'll call it header oops, header.php. And I'll just cut the code from the index file. And I'm going to take everything above this row uh, on line 44. So I'm just going to cut everything above that. Hit Command or Control X. And then Control C or V. Uh, excuse me, Control or Command V. And then save that. And then back here in my index.php, I'm going to call the get header function. You can see it can take in a name, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, first thing we'll do, or excuse me, the next thing we're going to do is the same for the footer. And I'm just going to cut everything out that's under the div class block footer. And I use the get footer function. And then I'm going to create the footer file, footer.php. And then I'll just paste it in like so. If I go back to index and save it, and back to my browser and refresh, uh, you'll see no difference. Uh, that's partly because we didn't change anything. All we really did was separate uh, some of our header and footer code. If we wanted to test that it works, we can just come here and add some random string of text. And there you go. So our include files are working. Uh, really quickly, what I want to demonstrate is how this can also be useful when you have, uh, for example, maybe a different header you want to display for the home page and uh, something default for every other page. So to do that, you could create a new file called header.php. Cancel. Sorry header-home.php you'll have to add that second part uh, because we'll need to use that in the function this is actually the name of the header so let's save that and uh, for the most part actually this is going to be exactly the same as the code here in our header.php file so I'm just going to copy everything here and paste it to header-home and in the uh, default header file, what I'll do is uh, I'll just remove the blog header code. Actually, I'll just comment it out because I just want to show uh, for now. Let me refresh it. There we go. So on the index.php file, I'm still calling the old header. And that means that uh, this code is commented out, so it's not going to show. But I know on the home page, I actually want to show uh, the blog name and description. So I'm just going to add home, uh, which remember is the second part of the file name. And when I refresh, it should come back. There we go. So that's how you use the header, uh, get header function and the header files. And again, you can do the same thing with the footer. And that's going to be it for this video. In the next video, um, we'll play around with a few more functions and we'll continue on with the WordPress thing. Thanks for watching.